welcome to EC Electronics. This is a video on ISRO Scientist Electronics Post Preparation and we have been doing a series of videos on the same. So if you want to watch the videos, please go to the playlist. I have created a separate playlist for the same. Okay, so we have been seeing uh, the questions on digital electronics in the last video. In this video also, we will be seeing the uh, questions from the subject digital electronics. Okay, so let's see what is the first question. Which of the following is the dual form of a b plus a bar c is equal to a plus c into a bar plus b. So in the dual form what we are say, uh, we are doing is that we are converting the AND gates into OR gates uh, or the OR gates to AND gates or simply we can say the multiplication terms are converted as summation terms and the summation terms are converted as multiplication terms. So that is what the dual form will look like. So for this particular expression, if you want to find the dual form means, here there is a product term, right? So the product term will be, AB is the product term. So it is converted as A plus B. And there is a sum. So it is converted as a product into, again a, a product term is there. So convert it as a sum. That is A bar plus C is equal to, there is a summing term, right? So it is A plus C. So convert it as a product term. That is A into C. Here there is a uh, into A bar plus C. So plus A bar into B. That is again converting this sum as product. So simply, if you want to take the dual form means just convert all the summation terms as product terms and all the product term as summations. So that is what the AND gates are converted to OR gates and OR gates are converted into AND gates. So that is the dual form. Now, what is the correct answer? That is, what is this option? The first option is AB plus A bar C is equal to AC plus A bar. No. Second option is A plus B into A bar plus C is equal to A plus C into A bar plus B. That is also wrong option. Option C, A plus B into uh, A bar plus C is equal to A C plus A bar B, which is your correct answer. So the correct answer for this question is your option C. Next question is, the present output QN of a edge triggered JK flip-flop is logic 0. If J is 1, what is QN plus 1? Here the QN plus 1 is the next state. QN is the uh, present state. Qn is the present state and Qn plus 1 is the next state. Now they are asking whether uh, if Qn is, is equal to logic 0 and j is equal to 1 then what is Qn plus 1. Now if you are drawing the uh, detailed uh, two table of a jk flip-flop then it is like this j k Qn is the present state Qn plus 1 is the next state. So if 0, 0 and 0, 0 is given and if Qn is 0, then it is 0. If it is 1, then it is 1. That is, there is no change in the next state for a 0, 0 in J and K. And if 0, 1, 0, 1 is given means for 0 and 1, the value is 0. Okay, so it is a reset state. Then for 1 and 1, that is 1, 0, 1, 0 state, the value is 0, 1, but the output is 1. That is, it is a set state. Reset. And if J and K are 1 and 1 means, it is a toggle state. If 0 and 1 is given, it is 1 and 0. So this is the detail to table of a JK flip-flop. This is a toggle state. Okay. And this is used to uh, find the characteristics equation of the JK flip-flop. So, uh, the characteristic equation is given as the QN plus 1, that is the next state, is given as J QN bar plus K bar QN. Okay. So, 
in the question it is given that the qn value is equal to 0 and also it is given that j value is equal to 1. So if you apply these values to the above equation we will get j value is 1. 1 into qn bar is 0 bar it is 1. 1 plus k bar qn. So 1 plus any term is equal to 1 right. So the qn plus 1 value is obtained as 1. Now let us see what are the options. Option A cannot be determined. No. Option B will be logic 0. No. Option C will be logic 1. Yes, it is the correct answer. And B will raise around. No. The value is obtained as logic 1. So if the value of qn is given as 0 and j is given as 1, then the next state value that is qn plus 1 value is given as or obtained as logic 1. So the correct answer for this question is option C. The next question is following shift register is initially loaded with the bit pattern 1010. After how many clock cycles will the content of the shift register be 1010 again? So this is a shift register and how after how many clock cycles will the pattern will get repeated? That is option A 5, option B 9, option C 7, option D 50. So the initial pattern is 1. 0, 1, 0 is a pattern of the shift register. So if you see the shift register, how the shift register is actually loaded, the last two bits are taken as an XOR and the output of this XOR is given to another XOR gate with the second uh, input or the bit in the register and again the XOR is calculated and that is being loaded as the first bit. Right. So what will happen? This first bit will get uh, generated every time and it is shifted to the end. Okay, so how uh, to answer this question is first find the XOR of these two bits. So the, what is the value of the XOR? That is these two gates are XOR gates. Okay, so uh, 1 XOR 0 is 1. Right, so a 1 is coming here. Again, a 0 is here and 0 XOR 1 is 1. So this will come here and it will shift all the other bits to the to the end. So 1, then 1, that is shift these bits to the end, 1, 0 and 1. Okay, again, the next two bits are 0 and 1. So 0 XOR, 1 is again 1 and the next bit is 1. So 1 XOR, 1 is 0. So a 0 is coming. Then these three bits 1, 1, and 0. Right. Again, take the XOR of these 1 and 0. What is the result? It is 1 and 0 will give a result of 1. Again, take its XOR with 1. So the output is 1, XOR 1 is 0. So a 0 is coming here. And these three values will shift to the right side. So 0, 1, and 1. Okay. Again, this 1 and 1. 1, 1, output is 0, taking the XOR with 0. So 0, XOR, 0 is again 0. So the value 0 is coming here. Then these three, 0, 0, 1 is shifted. Okay, so next one is 0 and 1. The XOR is 1. Taking its XOR with 0, the result is 1. So this 1 is coming here. So 1, then these three zeros, 0, 0 and 0. Right. Now, take the XOR of these two zeros. So, the result is 0. XOR of 0 and 0 is 0. So, a 0 is coming here. So, 0, 1, 0 and 0. That is, these three bits are shifted. Again, 0 and 0. That is, the last two bits. Output is 0. Taking the XOR with 1. So the result is 1. So the 1 is coming here. 1. Then these 3 values. That is 0 and 1 and 0. So if you see now the pattern is repeated. That is 1, 0 and 1, 0. Right. So after how many cycles? So this was our initial register value. Then after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. That is on the 7th cycles 
so that is all the seven cycle the value is repeated right so in order to attempt such uh, type of questions the only method to do is by trying out various patterns on by doing the uh, calculations so uh, here we are actually taking the XOR of the last two bits and taking the results XOR with the second bit and similarly you have to do till the pattern is repeated okay so there is no other option so if you are uh, going for community exams if you are attempting such questions in the, if, even if you know the answer try to do these questions at the end okay so that you can save time for doing other questions so anyway the correct answer for this question is your option C that is 7 is your answer so what we have done is we have taken the XOR of these two bits and then taken the result and it's again XOR with the second bit and the value is taken here and the first uh, bit is every time generated and the uh, rest three bits are being shifted okay so this is how such type of problems are being done okay so i hope it is clear so let us see what is the next question in the sum of product function that is f of x y z it is given as sigma 2 3 4 and 5 sigma it represents the sum of product uh, functions the prime implicants are dash option a x bar y x y bar b x bar y x y bar z bar or and x y bar z c x bar y z bar x bar y z x y bar d x bar y z bar x bar y z x y bar z bar x y bar z so how to solve such questions so uh, in order to answer the uh, this uh, to find the prime implicates type of question we need to actually draw the k map so here if you see here there are three variables so we will draw a three big k map okay so the variables are x y and z okay let's use capital letters x y and z here this is 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 or y bar z bar y bar z y z and y z bar okay here it is a x bar x so where are the uh, the values or the points are at 2 3 4 and 5 so there is a 1 at 2 the 2 is here there is a 1 at 3 then at 4 and 5 here and here so let's map these ones so this will contribute a x and here there is a common of y bar right so here we will get x y bar as a result since it's a product uh, sum of products so this is a product term again here we will get another product term which will be uh, that is a x bar x bar and here there is a y okay that is a y is common so uh, this is how you have to do k mapping that is 3 bit k map so if there is a two ones here then club it and uh, you will you have to look for the common uh, common variable here here if you see it is a y z and y z bar so the common variable is y and there is a common of x bar here so it is a x bar y and, and if you club these two ones together there is a common of x here and there is a y bar z bar and y bar z so the common is y bar right so it is a x y bar so again uh, here is a product term here is also a product term and sum of product means it will be like this so the prime implicants they are asking so what are the prime implicants they are x y bar and x bar y so this is the these two are the prime implicants so from the option which is your option correct option a is your correct answer so for this question the correct answer is option a okay so these are the questions which I have included in this video. We will see with more questions in the upcoming videos. So uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also please do share this video with all your friends. And if you want more videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.